All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, KBC Transport Training. We are on the training yard today, and guess what we got? I'm back in the hole. Right back. <laughs> Let us straight line back and back in the hole. Hey, pull it up a little bit. Pull it up here. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. All right, that way. That way. That way. Come on up a little bit. There you go. All right. All right, hold right there. Oh, all right, straight line back in the hole. There you go. Straight line back in the hole. All right, stick. He drive truck. He mentors you. He do. He drive truck. Oh, good. Get him into barber. Oh, he does. Yeah. Man, that's a good deal. That, that's what I like about Douglas Douglasville. There's a lot of people down here that uh, mentors. See, she's on straight line. Let's see what she does on this side. See, I took her to something hard yeah. and then brought her back to what she's familiar with, see. I'm the best guy during training. Oh, this is not my first rodeo. Yeah, I'm patting myself on the back because I'm good at what I do. I've had a lot of training from the U.S. Army. I've driven big rigs all through Lundstool Mountain, through Lundstool Mountain, uh, over in uh, West Germany. Oh! There we go. Come on, bring it back up here again, girl. They give us a more straight line back. I gave her a little offset. She wasn't ready for offset yet. We're going to do offset down uh, at the big yard at our other undisclosed location. <laughs> We're going to do it at the other undisclosed location. Oh, this has been a fantastic day of uh, content building. I hope you guys will continue to uh, tune, into our, tune into my YouTube channel. And uh, so that I can give you guys uh, great instructions. All right, hold it right there, driver. Let's do it again. Give me a straight line back. So we take you up a notch or two. We take you up a notch or two, then we bring you back down. Take you up a notch or two, bring you back down. And then that way you go ahead and get in there. All right? Because I'm, I'm willing to bend you as far as you can be bent. As far as you can be bent, I'm willing to bend you. If you can be bent a little further, I'm willing to bend you a little further. I think her problem, her biggest problem is mirror issues. She got mirror issues. Her truck is not in front of her trailer. Her truck is not, oh, whoa, 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 Miss Conebender. Come on back down here, Miss Conebender. That's the Conebender today. She's at the frustration level now. <laughs> She's at the frustration level now. Over that, go that way. Go that way, go that way. There you go. All right, now come back. Come back. There you go. There you go. All right. Come on back to your right a little bit more. There you go. Straighten it up. Straighten it up, that driver. Straighten it up. There you go. Come on back to your right. And then back to your left. There you go. All right, straighten it up, that driver. All right, oh. All right, back it up. Straight line back. Give me a let's go to lunch straight line back. There you go. There you go. That's an easy one there. I gave her an easy one there. That's easy there. All right, watch that drift. Watch that drift. Watch that drift. I know the cones ain't straight, but they ain't meant to be straight. Uh oh, uh oh, Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda's up to the challenge. Rhonda's up to the challenge. Get back in front of that trailer. Yo, yo. Bring it back again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make it do it again and again. Galen done knocked that thing out though. Galen done had two in a row. You would have did three in a row. Yeah, I would have, yeah. He knocked out three in a row. Galen, Galen Phillips, you actually ready to go to offset. 
you ready to go to offset because you feel it enough to be able to go. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to get a good feeling. Yo, that way, that way. That way, that way, yo, that way. Okay, now that way. All right. All right, let's see where run that. Back to your right. <laughs> All right, back to your left again. Come on back to your left. Come on to the left. Left, left, left. There you go. All right, now back to your right. Hard right, hard right. Hard right, hard right. All right, right there. Perfect. All right, you can do it from there. That's a long way. All right, watch, watch your steering wheel. Make sure you center your steering wheel. You're going to center the steering wheel. Center that steering wheel. I feel like a golden corral today. I'm feeling I'm feeling golden corralish today. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling golden corralish today. We'll park this truck on the side and do us some golden corralish. We're about, let me see, it's 114. My energy level, I had oatmeal. <laughs> Come on, get it off that left side. There you go. There you go. Drift it off that side. There you go. All right, get back up underneath that trailer. Come on, back up underneath that trailer. There you go. All right, now correct the drift on the right side. There you go. Correct that drift on the right side. Come on, turn to the right. Hard right, right. Hard right, right. All right, now get back up underneath that trailer now. There you go. Get back up underneath that trailer. Come on. Come on. Get back up underneath that trailer. Straighten the wheel up. Back to your left. Come on. Come on, back to your left some more. There you go. Watch that right side. Oh, see, you're almost there. You're this close, but you got too much. All right, pull it back up again. All right, Galen, we'll let you go again. Appreciate that. You again? We'll let Galen go again. Oh, okay. We'll let you go again. I'm trying to get my face in here. I ain't giving. I ain't giving YouTube everything. YouTube job is to watch me all day long. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Oh, we're gonna bring you guys some great uh, instructional training. Make sure you guys uh, bring it on back to the right a little bit. Come on to your right. There you go. Straighten it up right there. There you go. All right. Oh. All right. Put it in neutral. Pull the park brakes. Pull the park brakes. Pull all right, pull your brakes. All right. All right, dismount there, young lady. She's a little bit on the tired side. She's worn out right now. Uh, so my objective is to push you to the limit. Now, ordinarily, when you go to these other schools, right, uh, you're not going to get this much time behind the wheel on the driving range. They're going to give you five minutes. Come on, Gator. They're going to give you five minutes behind the wheel, and then somebody has turned. Uh -huh. that. They're going to get you in, they're going to get you out. Plus, a lot of these driving schools. Now, that's not to say that we don't be crowded from time to time. What I do is I try to limit my class sizes based on how much instructor help that I have. Uh, the people that I do have uh, helping and training with me are professional drivers. They have years of experience, and um, they, um, they're good at what they do. Uh, so we do have a military program, yeah. For those of you that are uh, about to get out of the military, uh, make sure you ask your commanders about, in the education departments, about the uh, Military Skill Bridge Program. It's a wonderful program where you come, you, uh, for the last six months of your training, uh, you don't have to attend duty. Uh, they actually uh, release you from duty six months early to allow you to come over to KBC Transport to uh, start training. So. Skier Bridge is a wonderful program. I urge you and encourage you to take advantage of it uh, when we have availability for the program and whatnot. So let's see what Galen got going on. Let's see what Galen got going on right quick.
not in gear. Put it in first. Put it in first gear, back in reverse. There you go, there we go. All right. There you go. All right, Galen is reversing again. He's reversing again. This is, uh, by the way, the second day of uh, of uh, straight line backing training. It's the second day of straight line backing. Uh, Galen's first day. Uh, this is um, from the second day. And so, yeah, just have to watch these lanes. Lane to travel, watch the front of the vehicle. And then you see how slow these guys are going. Uh, slow and steady is the key to successfully backing. Making sure that you stay on one side or another. When you do the corrections, just you just have to do the corrections nice and slowly. You have to do nice and slowly on the correction do it now. You have to do nice and slowly. All right, uh, put in first gear, let's do it again. One more again. Yeah. Mind you, we're in a, we're in a place where there's not, not a whole lot of space. Uh, we have several places where we actually train. Um, it's based on, you know, uh, traffic volume and, and a whole lot of other factors that we base it on and whatnot. So, but we have some really, really unique training locations and whatnot. So I can give you guys all of my tips and secrets. What you think? Oh yeah. Well, you know what Galen is doing? Galen is concentrating on one mirror. So you look at two mirrors. So look at here. See these, you know this side right here is straight. That side over there may not be straight, but this side is straight. So he needs to be coming back to the right, but he's going to the left. That could, that could hurt him. But if you concentrate on this right line right here, if you can see that good, or whichever one you can see, which mirror that you can see the best, that's the one you want to concentrate on. Which one are you seeing? These here? I want to see them cones. Oh, you there? I'm seeing them cones. These over here. So look for these in your left mirror and concentrate on just keeping them a little way. That's what he's doing. He's concentrating on one side. Remember last night I told y'all that what we used to do over at the technical college, we used to tape up that right mirror so that you can get used to using this left side right there. That's what we used to do. Yeah, we used to tape it up. We used to tape that bad boy up. But that's all right because this, guess what? This is just your second day on straight line backing. This is just the second day. It's not like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like we done did two weeks of straight line backing and two weeks later, uh, you will you should be mastered straight line. Yeah. You should be the yeah. master of straight line, but that's okay. Be good to go. So he's backing it off this line. As long as he don't, he's jacking it. Hopefully, he's jacking it too much. He's jacking it too much now. It is, but he's jacking it too much. See, see, he had a good thing going on. He should have stayed with this line right here. That line is crooked. But guess what? When you get rid of straight line back, it's never going to be perfect going to the different warehouses. Like if you had the straight line back go around that warehouse over there, we may walk around there so you guys can take a look at that 90 degree backing over there. But if you had to go to that warehouse in the back or one of these warehouses in the back, it's not going to be a perfect setup. Uh, but this is uh, perfect enough for you guys to have the ability to straight line. See, he's doing too much overcorrecting now. Too much overcorrecting. Hey now. Now we're going to find out because he's doing a too much, he's doing a lot of overcorrecting. He's doing a lot of overcorrecting. Oh, he just failed that one. All right, all right, that's enough. He's going to kill another cone. We better stop him before he butcher up all the cones. For the CDLs, yes, ma'am. That's what I would love to do. CDL? Yeah. Well, you're welcome to join us. How do I do that? Uh, okay, so our website, okay. uh, KBC, like uh, K as in Ken, B as in Boy, C as in Charlie. K. Uh -huh, B, C, C, Transport, Training. Dot com. You can go on there and register or whatnot. We have a lot of free live Zooms. We do Zooms free. I'm filming this for my YouTube channel too. Y'all remember the 
you get a free Zoom link. All you gotta do is register at kbctraining.com. Okay. And uh, you can, uh, we do live Zooms or whatnot. Uh, every day we do them twice a day, nine o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the evening. And uh, we cover all of the entry level driver training uh, basics uh, that the uh, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration wants you to cover. And so then we get out here. We got another training yard down in Union City. Yeah, this we, is a great place to do it. Uh, exactly. Places. We come up here because it's quick. Our trucks are not parked too far from here. And so this is a quick, easy place right here. Yeah. When we don't have a whole lot of students, we just come down here and, and you know. You don't have a lot of traffic either. You don't have a lot of traffic. And you don't really any have it with any fatalities unless exactly. absolutely just trying to get hit and die. Exactly, and Douglas will love it when we come down here. And yeah, that's good. We've been doing vlogging all day, uh, getting the YouTube channel all set up. Yeah. Making sure that we bring you guys the best. I'm gonna let you tell them a little bit about, uh, oh, you know what, I got the microphone right here, but I'm gonna let them let you tell them a little bit, a little bit about uh, your experience at KBC. Oh, my experience at KBC? My experience at KBC has been a good one, honestly. Uh, the main thing that I will point out uh, that really sticks out to me is basically you don't you learn more than just trucking. You come to KBC, you're not just a student, you kind of join a community. And that's one thing that has always uh, stood out to me about KBC, is you're joining a community. What other school are you going to go to well, they're going to teach you how to get your TWIC card. You can apply right online on the KBC website. Or they're going to teach you about different industry aspects and different niches within the industry, like transporting, uh, which is an option here if you were to come through the KBC funnel. So uh, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Truly thankful. Um, I like how I'm not a number, you know? go through some of these schools and you're just a you're just a number sometimes sometimes you're just a number you're not really you know once you graduate you can't call your instructor or you can't you know call the school for advice or anything of that nature that's not the case with KBC you know once you're part of this KBC community you know once you're in you're in you know it's like we're all we're all our own little small little small little union and that's one thing that, you know, I really, I'm really thankful for, you know. You don't just come in, get a license, figure your way out in the industry. It's not really like that. You come in, you're able to earn, learn different niches. You're able to, uh, you get exposed to different aspects of the trucking industry, whether that's bus, bus training or um, hopper. Or transport. Woman, I think you might make it this time. All right, he's cutting me short, y'all. So I have to logging off. He'll be, he'll be right back. <laughs> Hang on, one minute. I think you can bring the mic on for me. I got a cup of coffee. Y'all see, I got cup. I'm doing too much, but I wanted to video her. We don't. I don't really have to have any sound. I think she's gonna make it all the way through this time. Thank you. She is. Let's see. Yeah, cause she's beginning to feel that correction thing, right? She's beginning to feel it. All right, so. Let me go get her. She's doing a little bit too much, so they go Galen back again. Let's go check her out. Let's go check her out. I think this thing's recording. Ken got a nice camera. I think they're recorded from two different sides. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ken then gave me the camera. I'm gonna fall in love with this thing. Guys, again, an inside hit site here of this of destruction. Another thing about KBC that I really like, you see this tractor here? This is a 10 speed, it's a manual. You know, you don't get that automatic restriction. On, on your license. Delicious cup of coffee. Delicious cup of coffee. Everybody need every day. A delicious cup you of like coffee. coffee. Okay, he said he likes the coffee. Ken is a big coffee guy. You trying to get in on KVC? You trying to win, win Ken over? Get him some coffee. <laughs> So she's working that, you know, 
finding that sweet spot, let off the clutch easy. And we're doing a little straight line backing. And she's doing really good. Rhonda is, is going to be an excellent driver. She's overcorrecting a bit. And then, and then she, uh, she overcorrects and then she, uh, when she overcorrects, um, she kind of get a little nervous. Bring it over to the right some. There you go. Now straighten it up. See, the key thing is being able to not have more room on one side than the other. That way, okay, now go back that way. All right. Bring it on out the box. All right. As soon as you come out the box. All right, hold right there. Oh, let's do it again. All right, Galen, you next. All right, keep it moving. So what you guys are actually witnessing is the day-to-day -day operations of KBC Transport. It's what we do every day is uh, train students how to drive these monsters. Uh, if you are interested in learning how to drive, look, you can also, we have uh, Zoom uh, classes. You can register to our follow Zoom classes. Maybe your money is a little tight right now, but this is something that you want to get into. Uh, let me show you some program. We don't have finance plans. We don't finance anybody because as soon as you get yourself financed, now you're in, you're in a whole bunch of debt. So we don't do that. We want to make sure that you be able to get into a program and be debt free. She's doing good now. She's doing pretty good. You want to be debt free. There you go. Now she's getting the feel of it. Practice don't make perfect, but it does make improvement. And so the more you get a chance to do it, take it on down a little bit further there. There you go. She's learning how to control the rear of that trailer. The more she do. All right, so I need, see, I need to know that she knows what she's doing. I need her to do this two times in a row. All right, give me one more. Two times in a row lets me know that she's where she needs to be at. There ain't no other training program around that's gonna blog their day-to-day -day operation like us. We don't have anything to hide. Like I said, we are uh, uh, FMCSA uh, approved training provider. Uh, we do hazardous material training, as well as uh, trucks and also bus training or whatnot. We ask you guys to make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, turn on those notifications and don't forget to ring that bell uh, so that you'll be alerted every time we get ready to put up a fresh new video. Now, we're going to be attempting to put up fresh new videos maybe twice a day about commercial driver training. We're going to be doing something. I don't know what, where, and where, and how. All right, ho! We'll be doing something in the commercial training area, arena or whatnot. All right, give me one more good one. Give me one more good one. One more good one. It's a beautiful day down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Temperature is just right. It ain't often times that, uh, well, yes it is. Georgia is a beautiful place anyway. So um, we do offer, um, uh, if you guys are traveling across country <coughs> and need a place to stay, we have a lot of partners down here, hotel partners, uh, that will give you a discounted rate, really good discounted rate. And uh, we're talking extended stays in case you need to be down here for about two weeks uh, to get your act together so you can go ahead and get trained up. Get yourself trained up. Get your commercial license. We can go ahead and test you down here, test you out down here and send you back home to wherever your state is. I think she's about to fill it. She's about to learn. She's learning how to fill it. Let's see what she's doing on the right side. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she's watching it. The key, key to straight line back and is stay on top of that drill. You watch that trailer drifting. A lot, this is why you need to know straight line backing. Well, you need to know straight line backing because when you get ready to get shut down for the rest of the night, you're going to be in that truck stop. And guess what? If you can't straight line back into a nice parking space, you ain't going to be able to get no rest. Or if you're at a um, warehouse distribution center and you can't back into a, your door, then guess what? You're just not going to be able to um, 
There ain't no way you're going to be able to uh, get your load or unload or whatnot. I'm going to let it go back a little bit further there. All right, Galen, you get yourself prepared. Uh, Galen is going to be next up on the roster next. Oh, oh, she partied now. Oh, she partied. I, I want to see if she dropped that smile if I say do me one more. She don't know it, but we're going to entice the game. I'm going to make her do me one more. That was pretty good. But if you really want to impress me, do it one more time. Do it one more time to impress me. One more again. I let me know she got the feel for it. And then we'll work on Galen, getting Galen in. And uh, as we get Galen behind the wheels and get him rolling, uh, then we, our next maneuver is gonna be offset. I don't move you to from straight line back and until I know you can do an offset. If you can't do an offset, I mean a straight line back and then why are we putting you on offset? Straight line backing is the basics of all maneuvers. Once you master this maneuver, you're good. Huh? What'd you say? Huh? Oh, okay, she just driving. Females are taking over the industry. You know, one steering wheel at a time. So I encourage you guys, and young ladies. All right, watch the rear of your trailer as soon as you come out the cones. All right, all right. All right, give me one more. This will let me know if she really feeling. This will let us know if she really feeling this thing. If she really feeling it, oh, yeah. then she'll do this one here. But if, if she don't mess, she mess this one up, then she's not really feeling it. But I believe that she's really getting it. She's got too much space over on this side, though. There's too much space on this side. So it's all about the setup. It's all about the setup. She's got to learn to keep it off that left side. She keep it off this left side, she do good. I think she's doing good. I told her to stop all that wig wagging. When you're doing all that wig wagging on straight line backing, that's the agony of defeat. You're not gonna be able to really, really uh, master, but she's doing great. She's letting the trailer drift at the end though. See right there, the trailer is drifting at the end. She letting the trailer drift at the end. So, she did do two back to back. She did two back to back uh, before it started drifting on the end or whatnot. So, so we're gonna bring her back up. We're gonna flag her, bring her back up. It's just enough to give you enough discouragement to say, you know what? When I get back in that dadgum truck again, I'm gonna knock that sucker out. So, but anyway, we're gonna give her a little rest break. She been out here hammering this morning. So we're gonna get in here and we're gonna show Galen how to uh, do a straight line backing. Uh, uh, my battery, what my battery say? It's flashing. Oh, oh, that's okay. This battery will be up all day. This thing right here, this battery here. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, y'all, I ain't gonna tell y'all what camera I'm shooting with. I would tell y'all what camera I'm shooting with. I'm giving out all my secrets today, right? We talk too much at KBC. We give out all our secrets. All right, put it in neutral. Pull your park brake. Neutral. There you go. Got it in neutral. All right, that's super driver. Neutral. She's out to put out the brake, put out the clutch. And we're going to give her a little rest break or whatnot. So, yeah. Give her a little rest break period. Three-point three of contact. Uh, a little three-point of contact. I better get out of the vehicle. It's such a beautiful day here in Georgia. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, Galen, get your seat all adjusted. Get your seat all adjusted. So how was your experience? How was your experience? I figured out, like, you can't turn the steering wheel hard. Right. You have to, like, carry. Gradually a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's all about making gradual adjustments, and you're feeling it. And you did pretty good. You did two back-to-back. Uh, three is pushing it, but that two back to back is fine. Where's that Outlook calendar? What's my Outlook calendar going off for? Uh, training, Mac team, Zoom meeting. I'm supposed to have a Zoom meeting with somebody in nine minutes? 
put this put this in the cup holder right here. It says that I'm supposed to have a Zoom meeting with Mac and his wife in about nine minutes. That's what it says. That's what my calendar says. I'm going to have to call them and cancel that appointment. Now, we'll teach you the basics of straight line backing, okay? Got everything all set? So he's adjusting the steering wheels, got his seat adjusted, getting everything all adjusted. So you get the clutch on the float, put on the brake. All right, so that's the very, very first thing. We teach manual transmission. We don't teach automatic. Automatic for wimps. For no, wimps. I'm just kidding. For those of you that do automatic, if you got to do automatic, you got to do automatic. That's fine. But uh, I hate the fact that you got that restriction on your license. Now, show me a half turn. A half turn, if I say half turn to your left, put your steering wheel, turn your steering wheel, half turn to the left, right there. You turn a half turn and you're going to hold it. Hold it. If, it tra if the trail is drifting to your left, you're going to turn a half turn like this. Look like it's coming away from the cone, you're going to center your wheel back. Center your wheel. That's center your wheel right there. If it's drifting to the right, you're going to do a half turn to the right. Sometimes you might have to do a little bit more, do a little bit more right there. And then, you, then once it starts drifting back from the right, and I say center your wheel, center your steering wheel. Always remember to center your steering wheel. All you're doing is half left turns, half right turns, center your steering wheel. Because what's going to happen, when you get ready to go reverse, you're going to take your foot off the brake, you're going to take your foot off the clutch, you're going to put both feet right here until you get ready to stop. Once you get ready to stop, all you got to do is smash that clutch. Match that clutch in, okay? Yes, All right, put that baby in reverse. Press in both of your brake valves, the yellow one first, then the red one. All right, then take your foot off the brakes. Ease up off the clutch. There we go, we're going that way. Both feet on the floor. Come on up off that clutch, we're going both feet off the floor. Both feet on the floor. All right, watch that drill. If they're getting too close over there, I want you to do a half turn. Watch that right side over there. Keep it centered. All right, so she drifted to the left, right. Half turn to your right. Half turn, hold it. Hold it, hold it to the right. Hold it, half turn to the right. All right, center it back. See that? Hold it right there. It's drifting to your left. Half turn to your left. Look over here. Hold it. Center your wheel. Listen at my instructions. All you got to do is listen at my instructions. That's all you're going to do for right now. Listen at the instructions. Watch the drift. So you, if it ain't drifting, then you ain't got nothing to fix. Just let it go straight. All right, clutch on the floor. Put on the brake. All right, bring it straight back down to first gear. Let's do it again. Now you're going to pull all the way out the box. Watch your trailer in this mirror. When your trailer come out that box, I want you to stop, OK? All right, let's go. Put out the brake, ease up out the clutch. There you go. All right, there you go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you did it perfect too the first time I told you. First time I told you, but Galen's been in the program for a minute, so he should have his thing mastered by now. All right, get off that accelerator. No acceleration. Hot dog. Plus you burn fuel too. You burn a lot. You burn a lot of fuel if you just gonna accelerate to go here, accelerate to go back. You burn a lot of fuel or whatnot. And so that's why we don't do acceleration. Then we don't want you to get in the habit of accelerating on the driving range for safety reasons. Everything we do is centered around safety. All right, put on the clutch. Put on the brake. Oh. All right, let's throw it in neutral. Let's do it again. We're going to do it again up under my command, and then uh, we're going to let you do it on your own. All right, put out the brake. Ease up off the clutching. If it don't move, mash the clutch back down again. And, oh, okay, you are. You good. All right, listen up my drift. Watch that drift. Watch that drift. If it ain't drifting, don't mess with it. Don't move it. Don't move it if it ain't drifting. Let it ride. If it don't drift, all right, so it's drifting. Half turn to your right. Half turn to your right. All right, center it back, center it back. All right, half turn to your left. Hold it, hold it. 
Hold it to your left. Hold it to your left. Center it back. There you go. Hold it to your left again. Hold it to your left. A little bit more. All right. Bring it back to the right. Bring it back to the right. Back to your right. Get back in front of your trailer. All right. Hold. hold. All right. Hold it right there. Clutch it on the floor. Put on the brake. All right. I'm going to let you try it on your own this time. Stay. Huh? No, you didn't hit anything, but just watch that right side. What you need to do when you pull through, make sure you're closer over here than you are over there. Because that right side, you seem to be real close on that. So put it in first gear. Let's go forward again. We're going to do it again. We're going to go forward again. Oh, we're going to be out here for a, a minute today. Uh, making sure that we get her right. Get her done. We're going to be doing some pre-trip inspection too. We're going to run Galen through pre-trip inspection so we can see where he is. Uh, as far as pre-trip inspection. Pre-trip inspection is the most important uh, safety portion of driving tractor trailers. You ain't really got in the business driving a machine like this if you can't pre-trip inspect it. This is a 53-foot trailer. They can load up with 50,000 pounds on the back of this trailer. That would make this vehicle the largest weapon of mass destruction out on our highways. Uh, so if you join some of our Zoom classes, we show you some of the destruction uh, that these things do out on the highway. Drivers not paying attention, and now that they have made automatic transmission standard in the industry, drivers are not paying attention to what they're doing. They're becoming more distracted drivers, and we're seeing a lot of carnage. All right, take it back to the right. Take it back to the right. There you go. All right, straighten it up. Straighten it up. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Where you going now, Speed Racing? Gotta watch that mirror. When you get ready to come out them cones, you gotta stop. You don't wanna get too far away from them, okay? All right, let's go. Let's throw it in reverse. Throw it in reverse. Runda did good today, too. I think we're gonna go ahead and start on offset today. Give you guys a little taste of what offset is like. Trucking industry is a really, really good industry or whatnot. It's not a bad industry at all. It's a wonderful industry. Uh, you meet a lot of great people in this industry. You get a chance to go a lot of great places. Watch that drift. Turn into the drift. There you go. Harder. All right, get back in front. Get back in front. Get back in front of your trailer. Come on, turn it back to your left. Hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left. All right, straighten that wheel up. Straighten that wheel. Got to be able to correct it. Watch that drift to the right. Watch that drift. Oh, 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 All right. Put in first gear. Let's start all over again. Watch that drift. You got to stay on top of that drift. You got to stay on top of it. All right. Put in first gear. Let's do it again. We're not that hard out here. We're not that hard. That's my nice side. That's my nice side. Side. That makes sense? That's my nice side. I'm a nice person and whatnot. Notice we don't do... Hey, K, let me tell you something about KBC Transport Training, too. Uh, one thing we do have is a zero-tolerance policy. We don't tolerate foolishness here. Uh, no screaming. Nobody going to scream and holler at you and curse at you and disrespect it. We disrespect you. We may get a little, a little bit upset, but nobody's going to disrespect you. All right, why is coming out that box? Why is coming out that box? And so we're not going to disrespect you at all. Um... And we ask for you to do the same thing, uh, simply because if you disrespect the instructors or teachers or administrators, huh? Huh? No. All right, keep it centered. Keep it centered, watch that drift. Soon as it starts drifting, that's the only time you turn it when it starts drifting. If it don't drift, don't fool with it. If you think you look close to the right, then you can go ahead and start, turn to your right, half turn, half turn to your right. And that'll bring it back to your left. All right? Then center it back. Make sure you just jump on it. Every time that trailer looks like it's moving, you got to jump on it real fast. The faster you jump on the trailer. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get it back in front of your uh, trailer, in front of your header board. Uh, that way you know you're going straight. And so, like I, what I, 
Look at the header board, exactly. That way you know you're directly in front of your trailer or whatnot. Cause that's what that's what the goal is. The goal is to get back in front of that trailer so you can see where you are. Cause we notice I showed them a lot of videos of uh, drivers, supposed to be professional drivers, backing up, uh, backing up in these truck stops and just making a mockery of the fact that they so that trailer started drifting already. She's drifting already. She's drifting. You gotta go hard. You gotta go harder. Oh, let's do it again. Let's correct it again. So what I was saying about our uh, zero tolerance policy. All right, pull back up to your left. Come back over to your left. Come on over to your left. Hard left. Come on. Come on. Come on over to your left. Come on. All right, now take it back to the right. All right, center it right there. There you go. All right, hold it right there. Hold it. Coming out the box. Coming out the box. All right, try it right there. Try it right there. Watch that right side. So the key thing is, uh, like, let me go back to the zero tolerance policy. So he's really, see how that trailer pointed towards the left side? There you go. There you go. There you go. Now get back in front of it. Get back in front of it. Come on, go back the other way. See, he corrected, but he don't, he don't center it back fast enough. See what happens if you correct it, but you don't center it back fast enough. He's getting the hang of it now. He's figuring it out that that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, he's figuring it out. He's about to figure it out. One or two more turns. One or two more turns. Go on back. Go on back, see if you can work it out. Go on back, see if you can get on past it. Because the key with uh, backing in these cones is making sure that you hit the dock. All right, watch your tractor, watch your tractor. Yeah, come on, come on, you got it, come on. You got it. All right, straighten that wheel up, straighten that wheel, straighten that wheel. You got to be quick with it. There you go, go on, back it on up, back it on up. All right, hold right there. You done lost it right there now. All right, do it again. Pull it back up do it again. You see how fast that trailer will turn on you? Yeah. It'll turn on you real fast. That trailer will turn on you really fast. See how fast that trailer turns on you? That trailer will turn on you real fast, and, and the, the sooner you jump on top of that drift, the better it is once you jump on top of that drift. That drift is, uh, and that's how it is coming, uh, backing up to a dock door. Like if I was to tell you to go back to that dock door back there, it's, it's, a, the back, it's a dock door back around there. If you back around there to that dock door, that's going to be 90 degree backing. So we're going to give you guys a little taste of that. Show you guys how to back up to that dock door. Key thing, look here. The key thing for him is to make sure, see look here. This is what you were doing. Well, I guess he got it, he got it centered now. Key thing is to make sure you come through this lane nice and centered. If you come through this lane nice and centered right there, he stopped perfect. That was perfect. Well, as soon as you clear them cones, back it up. So I'm going to see, let's see what he does from back here, from this perspective. You look at, because you know, you're driving the truck from the front, but having the back perspective is something totally different. It's something totally different. Okay. Let's see what he got there. Ooh, I'm feeling a little lunch break coming on. What time is it? He's in that 12.34. We ain't been out here that long. We ain't been out here that long. All right, see, see that trailer start to the right? It started to the right just that quick. And so what I would do, half turn to the right, a half turn to the right and center it back real quick. Get it centered back. So he, he's, he got it now. He got it now. All he got to do is keep it like that. If he keep it like that, Keep that steering wheel, uh, see right now, he's, he's still drifting to the right. He's drifting to the right, he should be turning in to the right. So he keeping it, he gonna pass the cone, he gonna pass it. He gonna pass it. He's gonna pass it. So let me go back to the zero tolerance policy I was talking about, cause he did good that time. So the zero tolerance policy is that we don't allow anybody to disrespect anybody, right? Well, they're staffed. All right, ho, ho. All right, give me one more like that. Stayed on top of that drift that time. Give me one more just like that. 
Give me one more. So, uh, like I said, with the zero tolerance. Oh, watch that back it up. Put in first gear. There you go. It's in first. It's in now. Oh, let me show you something. When you get ready to, let me show you something. Put it in reverse and then put it back in first. All right, now bring it back down to first. All the way down. All right, right there. Now, hold your brake. Ease up off the clutch just to, not to, don't, don't come all the way off the clutch. Just ease up off the clutch. Just a little bit until you feel the car bit, truck bend down to the right. Once it bend down to the right, hold it right there. Slowly, 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 slow. That right there, take your foot off the brake. There you go. There you go. That's how you come off of the hill. That's how you come off a hill. Once you feel the clutch engages, then you can go ahead and take on off. <laughs> Sitting up on top of a big hill. I know a lot of people don't drive manual because of that fear factor. But, uh, yeah, so... What he's gonna do now, uh, we're gonna do a pre-trip inspection. So what, let me go back to what I was saying about the zero tolerance policy. We don't allow students to disrespect students, staff to disrespect students, uh, students to disrespect staff or administrators, simply because when respect is gone, then there ain't nothing else to talk about. And so we have a zero tolerance policy on staff and students disrespecting each other. Never a time, we're the Chick-fil-A of training and we intend to keep that reputation rolling. And so we wanna make sure that everybody has and feel wanted, comfortable, and respected here at KB.